Oh, we're going to get things burning up in here as we move through the review of Apeshit Cut. How Apeshit will this get you? Hey guys, you beautiful people, and welcome back into yet another one with us, the Review Bros. My name's Aaron. It's just myself today for yet again another pre-workout review, and it comes in the form of this one that you would have seen in the thumbnail, and that's why you're here. It is the Untamed Labs Ape Shit Cuts, which is their fat burning product, and it's I'm not too sure why it's Untamed Labs when we know it is Primeval Labs. I'm not too sure why they branched off and used another lab's name. I really don't know. I've not gone into the detail as such in that regard. But we're here to break down its primary components. That being the taste, the price, the label, and then most importantly, the true world effects of the several times I've personally used this product. Is it going to be something you guys decide to pick up? Well, you'll find out right here as we go through this honest review. And all we ask in return, guys, is that you please do like this video and do subscribe to the channel. You know what? We're putting out at least three honest reviews per week on supplements such as these. And uh, we just like to think that we would help you get to your supplement goals. Make sure you're not wasting any of that money you're earning. And, you know, get your to your ultimate physique. Let's not keep you waiting. Let's move into the taste of this one first. Into the first segment. It is the taste and the mixability, and a lot of people argue it's probably the least important. And you know what? Do you know what, guys? We agree. But, but, the big but, you've got so much choice out there, so many pre-workouts on the market. Why not? Get a good pre-workout that can also taste good. You don't have to sacrifice taste anymore these days. There's just too much availability out there. Yeah. What I'll say is, guys, there's several different options on the website for flavouring. And I'm going to chuck them down in the text below so you can see. I always like the fact that there's several flavours. You know what? It gives you the best opportunity to actually find something you like. Rather than these pre-workouts that only come in one flavour. Because then guess what? You're stuck with that one flavour. Strangely enough, guys, I don't know why. I really don't know why. The flavour we typically have got today is not even available on the website. No idea why. But the flavour we've got for the sake of this review is called Arnold Palmer. And it looks like some sort of cocktail. And I really don't know what it is. But there's a picture of it. I do hope it is zooming in on that right now. I really hope so. If you know what an Arnold Palmer is... Drop it in the comments below and we'll pin it to the top so everyone knows. You know, it might come back on the website. It might. But there's several other choices, so yeah. So we always do things maximum serving. These are very tiny scoops, guys, and flat scoops get you the serving size. Each scoop weighing in at just 3.35 grams. A much, much smaller scoop than average. And let's hope that's not what she said. Look at that. It has clumped together, guys. I don't know why. We've, it's only been unsealed a few days, but we have had the tub for quite a while. Probably like, honestly, probably like nine months. So remember, that flat scoop gets you the serving size. You can go up to two scoops, and that's what we're going to do. That's what we always do. Always go maximum serving on these reviews, because most of you will probably do the same. So, Arnold Palmer, let's see how this one goes down. Now, it's fat burning. Personally speaking, I reckon it's going to be shit, but... I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Here we go. There we go. So we've got a bit of frothing, not too much colouring going on. As you can tell, there is bits on the bottom. It don't mix fantastically. Again, there is that chance to, where it's just been sitting in the cupboard for nine months. It could have just gone funny and, and that be the, the problem here. Um, but it has been sealed. So, Arnold Palmer going down. Let's do it. It's all right. It does taste like some sort of alcoholic concoction. That's the truth. 
actually does taste alcoholic. Um, it's sweet. It does have a strange fat burning style feel to the back end of it. It ain't disgusting, but I can promise you guys, after using it several times, at the bottom of the drink, it gets nastier and nastier. Overall, I'd give it a, a 6 out of 10. I don't think it's undoable. I also don't really think it's enjoyable. But, again, it is a fat-burning product. Historically talking, when we have fat-burner-style pre-workouts, I've never known them to taste that good. So, yeah, that's the point I'm getting at. You'll neck the pre-workout and you'll get down the gym. Let's get into the price of it. How much is it going to set you back for those little scoopies? Price time. Short and sweet, guys, with this one. Going by the official Primeval Labs website, I can tell you a tub of this will cost you $34.99. That's with no discount codes. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure there's some out there. And that will cost you, because it comes in two different serving sizes. We'll always go by a maximum, won't we? But it comes in 50 servings or 25 servings. So 25 servings is the one we'll be going by. And when you divide it up, do the math on that, it will come in at $1.40. UK, guys, for the sake of a pure transition, a pound and 14 pence. And we have a consistent price and scale here. Compares everything on the market. Literally every pre-workout powder where a 5 out of 10 is an average cost. Doesn't sound great on a scale, does it, 5 out of 10? But that is the average price. This one actually comes out nicely at a 6.5 out of 10. So it's actually a considerable amount cheaper than just a generic pre-workout out there. So that's good. It is worth mentioning, guys, if you shop around, you can get it a little bit cheaper. For example, UK, guys, I can see this on websites ranging from 22 to £25. So if you get it at that 22, it's obviously going to be under a pound. And we could be looking at going up to like a seven or a seven and a half out of 10 on the pricing scale. So it's worth shopping around. It's worth looking for discount codes. But what I'm saying is it is definitely cheaper than just a normal pre-workout. We're going to get into the label and the effects and see if it's worth that pricing score, if it's in line with what it should be, or if you're actually getting a really good bargain here. That's what we're going to find out. It's label time and it's short and sweet, guys. It is short and sweet. So I'm going to whack it up on the screen for you to see it right now. As I said before in that taste segment, the scoops are tiny. And in fact, when we do maximum serving, we'll only be getting 6.7 grams of powder. Of course, a bit of that is going to be flavouring. So actives are very low on this one. So we have, let's start off at the beginning, we've got beta alanine at the clinical 3.2 grams, which is always a thumbs up for the beta tingle, the itchy like feeling as the pre-workout kicks in. And when you've taken it for a long enough period of time, it will help with endurance in the gym. We next have up choline butartrate, which is the worst type of choline, but we'll take it at a gram for focus, concentration, cognition. It gives you the clarity, it gets you in the zone. Obviously we would like to have seen you know, um, Alpha GPC as a choline type or even City Choline, but we will take it, we'll take it anyway. Uh, we have caffeine from green tea, so a natural type of caffeine, in our opinion, thumbs up, generally speaking, smoother, 300 milligrams, average amount of caffeine for a pre-workout, three cups worth of coffee for your energy stimulation, and it obviously is going to come with some thermogenic effect. We next have up, it is the Garcina extract at 200 milligrams. Now, Garcina is responsible for uh, appetite suppression, guys. It cuts down your appetite, so then in a very roundabout way, eating less calories, getting yourself into a, a calorie, um, the opposite of excess, a calorie low point. Oh, God damn it, I can't remember the word. You get what I mean. It gets you in a lower eating point, so therefore you know, in a roundabout way, you're going to be eating less, so therefore more fat burning opportunities can be presented to you. We next have dandelion extract, um, 50 milligrams. Now that's a, um, obviously comes with thermogenic effects, but mostly in terms of water retention, it helps you release water retention, gets you in a dehydrated state. 
you know, really peels you back, makes you feel more ripped as well. So, yeah, like to see it. Um, yeah, like to see that one. We next have GBB as the Gamma Beta Butane, which is another fat burner, guys. Helps metabolize fat cells within the body, kind of fries them up, ready for energy. Yeah, we... It's one of those ingredients that if it's paired up with like alpha, your himbine and such, it gives you some serious sweat on. Serious uh, energy like, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that one comes together. <coughs> we have your himbine bark extract, yielding 8% your himbine, 20 milligrams. Um, you know what that is. It's not to be confused with alpha, your himbine, which in our opinion, more potent. But this one will give you fat burning effects, adrenaline, energy, get you that sense of urgency, give you more energy, fat burning metabolization, burn things up, helping with your metabolization. And yeah, so all in all, you know, a respectable label from a fat burning standpoint. It is quite basic compared to some of the fat burners we have seen on the market, pre-workout wise as well. Um, we'll just have to see. Obviously, they, they've completely eliminated pumps here. They're looking for a different third element for a pre-workout we look for, being that fat-burning, thermogenic style effect. And now we're going to find out if it actually comes together and feels like it's going to do that. Okay, we're into the effects of this product. And it's, it's up against some stiff competition. You know, there's more and more pre-workouts coming out in general, and there's quite a lot of strong fat burner pre-workouts. Now, let's talk about this one specifically, obviously, as we're in this review. So, starting off at the beginning, I've used this one several times. I've used this one more than average. I've probably used it, honestly, like six times. I just want to make sure I get this one right, because the results didn't compare to what I kind of expected. So, take the pre-workout. Beta alanine, that come in nice and strong. That did come in strong. It felt like 3.2 grams. I got that itchy, tingling feeling all across the face, the body. Nice, nice sense of urgency. You know what, it lets you know your pre-workout's kicking in. It gives you that drive, that go, that, yeah, let's get this party started. And it comes in nice. So I'll give them commendations right away. What comes in shortly after is what I would actually call a nice, smooth wave of energy. Nothing strong, nothing too strong, as to be expected with this label. Green tea extract, natural caffeine, smooth ride. No roller coaster up and down. It's just a nice steam train journey through your training session. You don't crash in your training session, it keeps it going. What I will say is after the training session, however, you don't crash, but it's gone, it's gone. The energy has gone. It actually struggles a little bit through the bigger body parts, back, leg days, tough, challenging, hardcore days. It does. It holds up against a cardio session. It holds up against a shoulder day. It might just about hold up with a chest day, you know, the, the more fun, easier body parts as such. Now, no pumps. That's to be expected. Nothing in here for pumps at all. And yeah, I didn't get any of that. So that, that's obvious. They're not advertising it. They're not, you know, there's nothing in there for pumps at all. Not even a bit of citrulline, nothing, literally nada. What I will say is, like I say, it's up against some challenging pre-workout competition. Albeit though, however, more expensive pre-workout challenges. For example, Black Tulip by Apollo Nutrition, Dark Shred by um, Alpha Neon, Hero Lean by Dark Labs, Superhuman Burn by Alpha Lion. That's just to name a few right there. They are expensive formulas, but they are also loaded. And they do a, a mu the truth is, the truth has to be said, a much better job than this pre-workout. This pre-workout is for people on a budget, don't want anything too strong. You know, people almost, without giving out offence to anyone, people who don't take the training and diet and all the rest of it as seriously. That's the truth. Um, I didn't really feel any fat burning effects from this. I expected fat burning effects. I have, you know, I expected to really get a sweat on, be dripping, you know, having to bloody blue roll your face every five seconds and shower off afterwards. But no, none of that. I didn't also get any appetite suppression. 
each time I used this, and bearing in mind each time I did use this was on that maximum two scoop dosage. I ate a meal after training each and every time, no problems at all, so I didn't notice that. I didn't notice excess um, urination, you know, when you take these fat burning, the stronger ones, as I mentioned, you go to the toilet, you go to the piss every fucking half hour. Honestly, you really do. It kind of really expletes your, your, your moisture within the body, kind of like, as that, um, that thermogenic style feel. I didn't notice any of that with this. Another thing, a really big thing that I don't like about the pre-workouts is that Alpha Yahimbine GBB, your Grains of Paradise style feel, you know, where you get almost like a fever type feel where you feel hot, sweaty, dribbly mouth, runny nose, struggling to catch your breath, you know, really the thermogenics kicking in in the body. I didn't feel any of that from this pre-workout. I'll, I'll be honest again, 100% honest as always. It's a weak product. It's a weak fat burning product. But, but, the big important but, it's, it's too cheap. It's a cheap one. You know, as I mentioned, without any discounts, completely off the official website, you can get it for a 6.5 out of 10 on that consistent scale. If you shop around, I've seen it go as high as 7.5. If you get a mega deal, you could even potentially get it at an 8 out of 10. So it is a cheap pre-workout. But, but it shows, it shows in the effects. Against Heroline, against Black Tulip, against Superhuman Burn, against Dark Shred, there's probably others, it doesn't hold a candle against them at all. It just doesn't. That's the truth. If I'm completely taking the pricing element out of it altogether, you don't really feel a lot from the pre-workout. You don't. So that's the honest truth. What would I give it out of 10? Because there wasn't any of the negatives that you kind of look for because of the fat burning effect, I had enough energy, you know, uh, I honestly, like a five out of ten, it's, it's okay, it's okay, it's just not going to do a lot for you, but you're not paying a lot for it. You know, that's where we keep a very open mind. Some people would just say this is absolute shit, but they wouldn't take into consideration the pricing point and its audience. I do believe its audience is more widespread than some of the hardcore pre-workout fat burners that I've mentioned. Any average Joe could take this product and it wouldn't kill them off. So that's why I'm going to give it a five out of 10. If you're on a budget, want a fat burner that also gives you energy of pre-workout style, it's worth checking out, especially if you can get it at 7.5 or an eight out of 10 on the pricing scale. So yeah, if that sounds right to you, then by my, by all means, guys, go for it. Just remember, this is a 100% honest review on the ape shit cuts by Untamed Labs, aka Primeval Labs. Let us know if you've used it. That's very important. Drop it in the comments below. We want to use our YouTube channel almost like a forum where anyone can come along and you can see all the experiences down below. Kind of similar to our Reddit page, which is worth checking out under the, the name Pre-Workout Supplements. But yeah, appreciate you guys watching. Let us know what you think of it. And as always, stay stimmed, fat burning style.